It is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Record Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel as I deeply appreciate it. Before I get started, I want to apologize for the noise you hear above. That's my ceiling fan. I want to stay cool for this video. And also, sorry for the squeaky chair. In this video, I'm going to list my top 20 TV show songs, themes, or instrumentals. Now, to the younger demographic, there are no current or new themes, shows, and instrumentals on this list. <clears throat> this is a list that that um, that goes back to when I was younger, and they're, they're the songs, themes, and instrumentals I can relate to, and they, quite frankly, the ones I think are the best. That being said, if there's a glaring omission, please leave your comments in the comment section. And um, who knows, if you watch this video, you might find something you, you some that you actually like. But this list goes way back. I mean, way back to when Batman aired on primetime TV twice a week. This list goes back when Wilt Chamberlain was dunking on everybody and Bill Russell was winning all the championships. This, is, this goes back to when Bobby Orr was the best player in professional hockey and uh, Ken Dryden was saving all the goals for the Montreal Canadiens. This list goes back to when slot car racing was the coolest indoor hobby ever. This list goes back to when you went to uh, the store with your parents for the purposes of choosing the cereal box that had the best toy or prize inside. This list goes way back to when my beloved Los Angeles Dodgers came to your city and he knew we were going to lose at least two games because my team had Sandy Koufax and Don Drysdale and your team didn't. This list goes back to when the Flintstones were Flintstoning, Porky Pig couldn't get a word out, Speed Racer won every race, and a road runner could not be caught. This list goes back to when Brother Martin Luther King was preaching love, peace, and tolerance in a country that deeply needed it. That's how far this list goes back. So for the older demographic who may not agree with my list, well, leave your comments in the comment section below and watch a complete video because this might be a, um, who knows, a nice trip down memory lane. But this video is going to be in three phases. The last phase is going to be my top 20. The middle phase is going to be a, like an honorable mentions list. In the beginning are just a few uh, short examples of some uh, songs that just didn't cut the cut the mustard. So I'm gonna start off with and oh by the way, excuse me for looking down at my notes during this uh, video. I'm not an actor and I can't memorize them all. So I'm gonna be you're gonna see me looking down at my notes a lot. But examples of some shows that didn't make it were 77 Sunset Strip starring Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. He wanted to star in the FBI TV series, that fabulous TV series. Another show that didn't make it is the world-famous Man from U.N.C.L.E., starring Robert Vaughn and David McCollum, that both pushed both stars to international stardom. Fabulous show. This great album didn't make my list. Another show didn't make it. A lot of people don't know about this show. The Girl from U.N.C.L.E. with Stephanie Powers and Noel Harrison. This is another good album, but the theme didn't make my list. The Brady Bunch definitely didn't make my list, okay? Featuring Florence Henderson. This is Florence Henderson of Mono. And here's Florence Henderson in stereo. Get Smart didn't make my list. That's one of my favorite comedies ever. But Brother Don Adams didn't make my top 20. But uh, I love the show nonetheless. Now my honorable mentions list includes Happy Days, The Greatest American Hero, The Jeffersons, Saffron and Son, that great theme by Quincy Jones, uh, the theme from the 1960s television series Batman. Ah, I, I should have found a place in my top 20 for that, but I just couldn't fit it in. The theme from Family Affair, the 1966-71 TV series starring Brian Keith and Sebastian Cabot as Mr. French. Theme for Friends didn't make it, and Love American Style didn't make my list. That being said, we're going to move on to the 
top 20. At number 20, the theme from SWAT. Now this is the 1975-76 version of the theme. At number 19, the theme from the television show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This is a Fresh Prince and D DJ Jazzy Jeff LP. And here's another one. The theme from The Fresh Prince at number 19. At number 18, the theme from the cartoon Batman, I mean Spider-Man, from the 1967-70 cartoon. The theme from Spider-Man at 18. At number 17, the theme from the TV series Route 66, which aired from 1960 to 1964. At 16, the theme from the television show I Spy, featuring Robert Culp and Bill Cosby. Now, I know Bill Cosby was involved with all this negativity and this illegal stuff, and it's sad he went that route. He could have been revered as one of the greatest of all time, but he messed up and went that negative route. I mean, people don't realize how, how uh, great he was. I mean, when he was on I Spy, he won Best Actor at the Emmys in a dramatic series three consecutive years. And that is a phenomenal achievement for a stand-up comedian with no prior acting experience. I Spy at 16. At 15, Peter Gunn. The theme from the great Henry Mancini. Matter of fact, here's some more music from Peter Gunn. At 14, a theme from Beretta, sung by the great Sammy Davis Jr. Television show aired from 1975 to 1978, starred Robert Blake, sung by brother Sammy Davis Jr. Great song. At 13, a jazz-influenced theme from a television show, Mannix, by Lalo Schifrin. That's a great theme. At 12, the theme from the 1960s TV show, The Avengers. Now, they had different themes. I'm talking in specifically the 1966 theme. The show that starred Patrick McNee and Diana Rigg. The 1966 theme of The Avengers. The television show, not the current movie series, but the television show from, uh, from the 1960s, the 1966 theme. At 11... Now, this show is, um, is nobody heard of this show. It's very, it's not known at all. The name of the show was American Adventure. It was a syndicated show that aired in the early 70s, I believe. And um, not, a, not as a lot is known about it, but I remember hearing the theme when I was younger. And um, it's really good. Matter of fact, it could have top, uh, made my top five. It's that good. But you can probably find it by looking up the American uh, Adventure TV series, 1972. You might be able to find it on YouTube. At number 10, the theme to the TV show called The Name of the Game, which aired between 1968 and 1971. At number 9, a collaboration between Bill Cosby and Quincy Jones. The name of the show, I mean, name of song is Hickey Bird. And uh, Bill Cosby had a show um, between, where is it here, 1969-1971, where he paid, played a, a PE teacher. His character ne character's name was Chet Kincaid. And um, it was a good show. I remember walking, watching it with my family when I was a little kid. Hickey Burr by Bill Cosby and Quincy Jones at number nine. At number eight, The Protectors a 1972-74 TV series starring Robert Vaughn. At seven, from the 1955-1956 show, The Honeymooners. I love that show to death. Great thing. At number six, one of the best ever, the theme for The Monkees, TV series that aired between 1966 and 1968. Now here's a great one. Secret Agent Man by Johnny Rivers from the television show Secret Agent. 
Now, I believe it's quite possible that that theme for that show was only aired here in the United States. I think in the rest of the world, the name of the show was Danger Man, I believe. So it's quite possible that that theme or that theme so song only aired in the United States version of that TV series, but I'm not sure. But so at number five, Secret Agent Man by Johnny Rivers. At number four, ooh, this easily could have been number one, Moonlighting by Al Jarreau from the TV series Moonlighting starring Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd. Moonlighting, that's a great song. Now we're getting down on heavy hitters. Number three, from the TV show The Persuaders, which aired between 1971 and 72. This is a cool show starring Roger Moore and Tony Curtis. This is one of my favorite shows ever. The theme from The Persuaders at number three. At number two, oh, Mission Impossible, what can I say, by Lalo Schifrin. One of all-time greats. Mission Impossible number two. At number one. Hawaii Five-0. Hawaii Five-0. What a great thing. Now, my top three are easily, easily 1A, B, and C. They're all that close. They can e easily be interchanged. They're all that close. E either one can be my number one. But anyway, I know I'm, I left out a lot. I know I did, but it is very subjective. So, what's your favorite? Leave them in the comment section. Thank you for viewing my video. God bless. Love. And peace to all.